Robbie! Go on, Robbie! Great, 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 great. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to Season 5, Episode 6 of the Colorado Rockies. Today we will be reviewing the All-Star Game and then playing the... Uh, who are we playing? The Chicago Cubs. But there it is, a perfect game pitched by Robbie Ray. Absolutely sensational against the Giants in Giants. It was at Oracle Park, whatever it's called. Uh, if we scroll down here, there it is. Nine innings, seven strikeouts, 100 pitches, nothing else to write. Wonderful, wonderful stuff from Robbie Ray. Um... There's nothing else to say. What a star. What a star he is. Um, and to be honest, he was, he was an all-star. He was our only all-star, as it turns out. Uh, and I think he may have got picked just because of this somehow. But, um, yeah, wonderful stuff. There's not much else to say other than bravo, Robbie Ray. A high point in what's otherwise been a very disappointing season. There's a little bit else to catch you up on. Um, I mean, it was mostly just about the perfect game, to be honest. But we have also done some trades. Now, the first one involved us giving up Michael uh, Toglia. Um, he is a very good first baseman, but of course we have Evan White. So the chances of him playing for us in the majors was slim to none, effectively. Um, so what we did is there was teams coming in for him. So I thought, let's uh, shop him around and see what we could get for him. And what we got was what I'm hoping is going to be a very, very good left-arm pitcher for us. We've got him in the bullpen right now, Damon Jones. Um, you can see, I mean, if the attributes are anything to go by, a very, very good pitcher, someone who could be a starter for us. We're going to start him off in our bullpen. Uh, you can see for the Phillies this season, he hadn't hasn't done too well. Um, that whip's a little bit too high for, uh, you know, for my personal... Um, yeah, personal thing. He's a bit of a polarizing figure. He's outspoken. That's maybe not great. Uh, so we could look to move him on very quickly if that's uh, what's going to happen. But previously, the last two seasons, ERA under three. And if that's what we can get, then we can just get him his own hotel room, put him in the corner in the clubhouse. And um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how he goes. But uh, that's that's what we got. Hopefully a very good player for us. And there was a second trade. And for this one, we've given up uh, we've given up catcher Liam Hicks. Uh, he's gone off to St. Louis. And in return, we've got back Romel Tapia. He's on a minor league deal. And I thought, well, what, you know, we're a little bit short in the outfield anyway if we get an injury. He was a brilliant, brilliant player for us. So we got him back. Now, he's on a minor league deal. He's 30. He, it is, uh, there is a, a 1.6, 1.7 million um, uh, salary should we call him into the majors. So... That's uh, that's where he's at. I'm not sure if he becomes a free agent again after this season or what the deal is there, but we gave up essentially nothing to get back someone who was a very, very good player for us. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited that he's, uh, he's at least back as being an option for us. So this is the home screen. There's no new injuries. Uh, Marquez has had a setback. Shocking. Uh, but as I said, we've written him off at this point anyway. Um, we have done okay in terms of wins. You can see we are almost off the bottom of the division. Not quite, uh, but we're getting there. And uh, if we have a quick look at how we've done since last episode, of course, we left off with the Mets loss there. We did lose the next game in that series. Um which is disappointing, but we managed to salvage something, which is important because they, they're not a good team. Then we played the Phillies. Uh, we won two of th uh, sorry, three or four against them, and that was brilliant. Uh, and in the second game of this series here, in the second innings, we had a Bo Bichette Grand Slam, uh, which is brilliant. So we got oops, five runs in that innings, uh, and Bo Bichette went one for five, but oh boy, did that one count. So that was great, great stuff. Then we played the Dodgers. Um... Yeah, they're good, aren't they? They're really, really good. We almost came back in this one. In the ninth, there was another Grand Slam. It was Vasquez. Uh, so that's excellent. Two Grand Slams in as many series. But uh, yeah, that was all she wrote for us. Now, we did actually out-hit them. So it wasn't a shocking performance from us, but we did end up getting swept in that series. And then to make up for it, we went to San Francisco. This was the perfect game, um, which is sensational. Uh, then game two... It wasn't almost a perfect game, but it wasn't far off a, off a no-hitter. Uh, and I say it wasn't far, not a no-hitter, a shutout, I should say, sorry. I say that because Flaherty went 8.2 innings without giving up a run. And then uh, and then one of our young starters, or, or uh, bullpen pitchers, Spencer Jones, came in and just uh, cleaned up the final out for us. Um, so that was great. Two games in a row without them scoring. We snuck by them in game three. And um, that's where we're at. That brings us, of course, now to the All-Star game. Now, these were the rosters, um, so you can see them there. There was no one really of ours formerly that uh, was in the American League roster, which is uh, which is fair. And obviously some players we've had at other clubs. Um, 
But yeah, so there was no one there of note for us. But if we go down and have a look at the National League team, uh, Yunsi Almonte, of course, who we traded away. I may have made a mistake on him. Uh, and Robbie Ray, we can see there, was uh, was our only representative. I think it's a little bit harsh on White, and I think it's a little bit harsh on maybe Sergilio as well. But um, yeah, I mean, we haven't been great, have we? Uh, but yeah, Yunsi Almonte... He's turned himself into a decent pitcher. He wasn't like this for us, but he has just, since he moved to St. Louis, he has just been getting better and better. So uh, well done on him. He deserves his call up. Um, yeah, maybe I got that one wrong. Maybe I didn't. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, that brings us, of course, now to the game. Uh, where's the game? It's up here somewhere. Um, and it was won, unfortunately, by the American League, seven to, uh, well, 10 to 7. Um, in terms of our players, I'll leave it there so you can have a look at the at the hitting side of things. If you want a bit of a longer look, just give it a quick pause. Um, and if we scroll down to the pitches, Robbie Ray, he did get an appearance. He, he got two outs. Um, is that is that pitches thrown? No, pi I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, he may have just thrown two pitches for those two outs. But uh, anyway, he, he played. He was on the losing team. And uh, well, that's that. Look at the expanded standings. We can see we have uh, we're eight and a half games back of the wild card games now. So we're still in this. We need a big, big finish to the season, and uh, we could maybe look to push into those um, into those wild card places. But it does need to be a big finish to the season. Uh, quick look at how everybody's going now. The one change we've made into the bullpen: Damon Jones has come in. Feltman has gone out. His ERA was just going up and up and up. He was brilliant that first uh, outing he had for us, but he's gone down a little bit since then. Um, Tommy Doyle continues to bring his ERA down, which is good. But other than that, it's kind of a little bit of as you were. Um, maybe a quick note for Spencer Jones. He hasn't pitched much, but you know he's he's doing a, a really really good job. Which is uh, which is good to see for a young pitcher. Uh, if we have a look at the hitting side of things, um, unfortunately, Tamar Johnson has dropped off a little bit. He's still batting over 300, but of course, he was much much higher than that. So we're just taking him out of the spotlight for a little while. See how uh, you know, see if he can respond. We've brought uh, Brendan Rodgers back in, and hopefully, he'll start to show why the second half of the season why he is a uh, two-time All Star because we need him. We need him to be back, back, uh, back batting. That's tough to say. Close to 300 for us. So that's uh, everything caught up on, I believe. Let's have a look at these lineups for the post All Star break game against the uh, Cubs. All right, and this is it. The matchups don't look fantastic, but Bo Bichette's back up to lead off. He will start us off at uh, playing at shortstop. It's Brendan Rodgers batting second at second. Evan White bats third at first base. Sergilio in left field bats uh, a cleanup. It is Jimmy Heron in center field batting five. Otani's back in. He bats six in right field. It is Drew Bowser, the third baseman, the young third baseman batting seven. Vasquez, the catcher, bats eight. Jack Flaherty's on the mound for us today. And we're up against Aaron Savale, is it? Um... He looks uh, looks quite good, doesn't he? Uh, good control. He's got an ERA of 3.11, a whip of 1.13. He's uh, got a war of 2, an uh, ERA plus of 141. So he's he's having a good year, isn't he? Um, let's hope we catch him on a bad day. I did notice he is a fly ball pitcher. So maybe, you know, at our home ground, we could take advantage of that. But Flaherty to lead us off. Uh, we're up against his uh, Horner, I think it was, that's leading them off, batting 2.10 this season. And uh, well, this this needs to be a win, doesn't it? We need to we need to obviously win more games than we're losing. I think last episode we won seven of twelve, so we need that sort of a ratio to get ourselves back uh, back involved in a chance for a postseason. And uh, well, that's not the way to start. It's a leadoff double, which is obviously very very disappointing for us. Uh, brings up Alfonso Rivas for them, batting two seventy nine. It's a one one. And that is going to drop in, is it? Yes, it is. Now, can Sergilio stop the run from scoring? He can. But not a great start. No one out, runners at the corners. Flaherty's uh, still on his all-star break, I think. It brings Bryant in. He's batting 232. It's a full count. There goes the runner. Did we get the strikeout? We did. Did we get the runner? Oh, we didn't quite. Unlucky for Vazquez, but one away. Runners at second and third. Nolan Jones comes to the plate, batting 226. We would love a strikeout. We're not going to get that. Could we get a pop fly, perhaps? No, we can't get that either. It goes to Heron in center field. And is it going to score two? I think it is. It's a two RBI single. And we find ourselves two runs down already in the top of the first. Wilma Flores comes in. Runner at first. Flores is batting 345 this year. A little bit less than that now as he pops it up for Sergilio. That'll be two away. And can Flaherty end this innings here? Hap to the plate batting 259. It's a 2-2. Two -two. That ends the innings, but it's not been a good start for us. We're 2-0 down after the top of the first. 
And we'll go and have a bat with Bo Bichette to lead us off, batting 282 and in a bit of a hot streak. Come on, Bo. First pitch swing. Let's see what he can do for us. Bo Bichette, he's popped it up. And it's not going to quite get out. As I said, he is a flyboy pitcher, so, you know, we might see a few of those this game. It brings Brendan Rodgers in, only batting 248 this year, but we're expecting big things from him. He doesn't start now. Next time up, but, uh, Rodgers, you can start next time. It brings Evan White to the plate, batting 302. He is our batting leader in terms of average, but uh, that's going to drop the average down a little bit. And that is a very quick, very disappointing first innings for the Rockies. All right, Flaherty, come on, mate. You need to be on your game now. It's Mayer, who's uh, batting 174 this season. 1-0 uh, pitch, and he get. Oh, no, it's Rodgers is there. He's got that. That's one away. I thought that was going to get itself into right field. It's Almeida to the plate, batting 227. It's an 0-2. Can Flaherty sit him down? He can. Excellent stuff. A second strikeout of the game for Flaherty. No, third strikeout. It brings up the pitcher. He's batting 167 this season, so he's not the worst. Uh, but Vazquez should have that, and that will end the innings. Much, much better, that second innings from us. Now, let's see if we can improve with the bat as well. Sergilio to the plate, batting 296. He has 96 career home runs. I doubt he's going to get to the 100 today. He's got that over, has he? Yes, he has. He puts that over center field's head. Is that a triple? No, he slides into second, but that is how you start the innings. Sergilio into second with a leadoff double. And it's going to be Jimmy Heron to the plate, now batting 279. It's a 1-2 pitch. Can he get something on it? He can, but it's a ground ball to third. And that is one away. In comes Otani. Otani's batting against the uh, the right-handed pitchers. We bring Alcantara back in to face the lefties. Uh, with, obviously, Otani dropping out and everybody shifting around in the outfield. Uh, but that's a pop-up. That's two away. And can Drew Bowser now, batting 255 this season, drive in Sigilio for us. Bowser up the middle, but it doesn't get past the shortstop. And we don't take advantage of that leadoff double. We are still 2-0 down. Flaherty will face Horner again. He is 1-for-1. One one. Of course, led them off with a double in that first innings. This time he strikes out. And that is 1 away. Rivas, who is 1-for-1. One one. He's at 2-2. Two -two. There's another strikeout for Flaherty. Is he going to live to regret uh, the slow start to that first innings? Bryant comes in. He's 0-for-1. Another 2-2 two -two pitch. And another strikeout. That's an excellent innings of pitching for Jack Flaherty. And, um, well, there we go. Wonderful stuff. Vazquez to lead us off, batting 241 this season. It's a 2-2 pitch. Vazquez again pops it up. Oh, come on, get out. <sighs> oh, getting sick of those pop flies out there. It's Flaherty coming into bat now. Now, he's batting 225 this year. Three home runs. He is not the worst. On this occasion, he stands there and watches strike three. But generally speaking, he's not the worst. Bo Bichette, who's 0 for 1. A full count. Come on, Bo. He's hit that well, but it's to center field, and that will end the third. And we're not looking particularly good with the bats again, are we? The all-star break hasn't really looked to have fixed that. Nolan Jones comes in. He hit the two RBI single last time up. This time he pops it up. He couldn't have done that in the first innings. And that's caught there by Bowser, and that is one away. Flores comes up again. He's 0 for 1. A 1-1 one -one pitch. Into center field. Heron's there. Heron makes a diving catch. And that is two away for Ian Happ, who is 0 for 1. It's a 3-0. It's a 4-pitch walk, a 2-out walk. And Meyer now, who's 0 for 1, comes in. It's a full count. That is well hit into left field. Sergilio can't make a play. Now, can he stop the run from coming in? Into second. No, he can't. And it's an RBI double. And we're 3-0 down now. And you just don't trust our bats right now to, to turn this around. Flaherty to Amea, who's 0 for 1. A first pitch. We're using the open base. That'll bring the pitcher up and hopefully end the innings. He grounds at the first. Evan White's there. And that does indeed end the innings. But we fall a further run down. Rogers comes in. 0 for 1 today. A first pitch swing. Come on, Brendy. Rogers pops it up into left field. And that is one away. Evan White, who's 0 for 1. An 0-1 pitch. Evan White hits that well into left field, right field, sorry, and that will be a one-out single. Sergilio hit the double last time up. Can he do a little bit better than this? It's a full count. Sergilio, no, he's popped it up. I'm sick of these pop-ups. Can White get himself to second? He can't. And that is two away for Jimmy Heron, who's 0 for 1. It's an 0-2. Heron has popped it up. 
And that'll do it for the fourth. And we are still 3-0 down. We've only had two hits. And I'm wondering if it's time to change a hitting coach again. Nico Horner to the plate. He is 1 for 2. An 0-1 pitch. He's popped that up. And that'll be caught out there by Otani in right field for 1 away. In comes uh, Rivas now. He's 1 for 2 as well. Another full count for Flaherty. And a, a walk. Oh, that looked close. It's a one-out walk, though. Bryant comes in. He's 0 for 2. A 1-2 pitch. And there's a strikeout. Seven strikeouts now for Flaherty. Nolan Jones, who is 1 for 2. A 1-0. He's popped that up. Heron's there. Sergilio's there. Heron should make the play. He does, and that ends the top of the fifth. All right, boys. Come on. Let's have a bat. Let's do something here. Otani comes in. He's 0 for 1. A 3-1. Get yourself on base here. Otani does just that. A leadoff walk. All right, can we make this count? Drew Bowser, who's 0 for 1, comes in a 2-0. Bowser pops it up. And that'll be uh, one away. Otani will stay at first, I would imagine, unless he's uh, Usain Bolt out there. Vazquez, who's 0 for 1, comes in. A 3-1. Come on, Vazquez. Vazquez has hit that well. Vazquez has made it 3-2. He's a home run machine this season. And Christian Vazquez... Wonderful stuff, a 10th home run, a 439 foot home run, and it is 3-2 now. Back in the game. Flaherty comes into bat, 0 for 1, of course he struck out last time. A first pitch swing this time, and Flaherty, well, makes them work for it, but it is 2 away. And it brings Bo Bichette up to the plate, who is 0 for 2 today, a 2-2. Come on, Bo. He grounds at the third, but that will end the innings. But it's been a productive innings, we're back in this game, it's 3-2 now to the Cubs. And Flaherty will continue to Flores, who is 0 for 2. It's an 0-1. Ground ball. Bowser has it. Over to first, mate. Excellent stuff. One away. It's Ian Happ now, who is 0 for 1. A 2-0. That's well hit into left field. Sergilio is there. And is it going to be another double? It is. Flaherty loves giving up a double today, doesn't he? So with one out, we have a runner at second. And what we don't want is to have that lead extended on us again. Maya comes in, who is one for two. It's a first pitch swing. We've hit him. That's what you get for the RBI, you moron. All right. Runners at first and second with one away. Amaya, who is 0 for 1. Another full count. Another walk. We've loaded the bases. Does that do it for Flaherty? It doesn't. The pitch slot is up. A 1-2. He gets a big, massive, huge strikeout. That's two away. And he faces Horner now, who's one for three. Two outloaded bases. This is the game almost, isn't it? It's a 1-1. One, one. Oh, and it's got into left field, and it's going to extend the lead back out. Only by one, though. We get away with it to a point. But we're 4-2 down now. Still loaded bases. Still two out. Rivas, who is one for two, comes in. It's an 0-1. Oh, and he's done the same thing. Is it going to be just one again? It is, but we've, they've cancelled out the home run. Flaherty, you muppet. What have you done? Ty Tice comes in to clean up his mess, hopefully. It's a 1-2 pitch. Come on, Ty. End it for us, mate. He does. But we've undone all our good work. We're 5-2 down. We're back to being three runs down. And Rogers will lead us off, and he's 0-2. A 1-2 pitch. Rogers pops. I think I'm going to trade Rogers. I'm getting the shits with him. He's been horrible this season. His form has gone off a cliff, and we might see if we can trade him. Evan White comes in. A one, uh, sorry, a 2-1 pitch for him. He grounds that to first. I don't know what to do about our batting. It's been our strength since day one, and it has just disappeared this season. Sergilio with a two-out single. The fact that m almost the entire team is... I mean, but the thing is that everyone's not that bad. Rogers is the, the East, always batted 300 for us. There goes Sergilio. He gets himself to second. With two out, now can Heron drive in that run for us? It's a 1-1 one, one pitch. Heron, no, he can't. And that will end the sixth, and we are still three runs down. Nolan Jones comes in to face Tice. He is one for three today, a 2-2 two, two pitch. Tice with a strikeout. At least Tice has been, relatively speaking, Mr. Reliable this season. Wilma Flores gets hit. As I was saying, Tice, very unreliable on the mound. It's uh, Hap now who's one for two. 0-1. Uh, that is against the shift, and it's going to be an infield hit. So two out, sorry, two on, one out. 
Maya to the plate, who is one for two. I think we hit him last time up. This time he gets it into... No, it's going to be caught there by the shortstop, Bo. That's two away. A big out, that one. Our Maya now is 0 for 1. He must have got a couple of walks in there. Can Tice end the innings for us? He can. And we'll stretch three runs down. We need a big innings. We need the bats to wake up. It's Otani to lead us off. A first pitch swing by Otani. He has popped it up. We probably need this pitcher out of the game as well, don't we? It's uh, Drew Bowser now who's 0 for 2. A 1-1. One, one. Come on, Drew. He gets it up the middle. There we go. A one-out single for Bowser. Now it's... Well, that does end that pitcher's uh, time on the mound. The new guy has an ERA of 4.35. It's Vazquez who hit the home run last time up. And let's see what he can do with one out, one on. It's a first pitch swing. Vazquez has got it into center field. Can Bowser get himself over to third? He can, I think. Yes, he can. <laughs> so, one out, runners at the corners. Tying run to the plate, and it is the pinch-hitting Vallejo batting 236 this season. Anything but a double play, mate. It's a 2-2, and he strikes out. Better than a double play, and it's Bo with two out, two on. Bo, make yourself a hero, mate. Oh, it's 2-2. He's 0 for 3 today. Come on, Bo. No, he strikes out, and that ends the seventh. And we're still three runs down. Edward Kalina comes on the pitch to face Traunchman, who is pinch hitting, batting 201 this season. It's a 3 1. Kalina has been a little bit hit and miss this season, and uh, well, he's been hit there, but luckily for us, straight to Sigilio for one away. He's got away with that. Horner comes in. He's two for four. An 0 2. Come on, Kalina. There's a strikeout. Excellent. Two away. Brings Rivas to the plate, who is two for three. It's a 2-2, and that's going to be a two-out single. Otani gets it in, and it brings Bryant to the plate, who is 0 for 4. Come on, Edward. End this for us, mate. 2-1. That's been popped up. Should be caught there. Heron is coming in. Makes the play, and there's no damage done there for us. Corbin Klaus, a new pitcher for them. Great name. He's going to face Rogers. And, oh, Rogers, mate, you are playing for your future at the Rockies here. I'm, I'm telling you that now. It's a 1-0. Rogers. Well, he's just about kept himself at the ball club. It's a leadoff single for Brendan Rogers. Evan White. Come on, we need our big bats to come through for us now. Evan White is one for three. A 2-2, two -two, and he takes it into left field. And Sergilio's going to come to the plate, representing the tying run. No one out. Two on. Sergilio's two for three. It's a 3 0 pitch. He walks. Bases loaded. No one out. This is our chance. It's Jimmy Heron. He is 0 for three. Can he do something against the lefty? Jimmy Heron gets it down into left field. That's going to score one. It's going to score two. Sergilio will get thrown out at the plate, which is kind of silly with no one out, but it's a two RBI double for Heron. We're 5 4 down. Otani to the plate. He has a first pitch swing. Otani pops it up. That's two away. Sergilio, just stay at third, mate. You don't need to come home on that. That would have been one out with you running the second and third. It's Drew Bowser. Come on, Drewy boy. Tie us up here, mate. Bowser pops it up, and we go to the ninth, and we are one run down. And the silly thing is, if Sergilio's on third, he probably scores there and ties the game. Junior Fernandez comes in to face Nolan in the ninth. Nolan is one for four. It's a 3-0 pitch. You don't like where this is headed, do you? There it is, the leadoff walk. Hopefully Fernandez has warmed his arm up now. He's going to face Flores, who's 0 for three. A first pitch swing. And Flores has probably just killed off the game. And it is seven to four. As soon as we score two runs, we go and give it straight back to them. Ah, oh, Fernandez. I almost said something that started with F that wasn't Fernandez then. Hap comes in the bat. First pitch swing from him. And that is going to get over the top and be a single. As we're still waiting for our first out here in the ninth. It's Meyer who is one for three. A 2-2 two -two pitch. That's popped up. Otani's there. Heron's there. Otani makes the catch. And that is one away. Man stays at first. Amaya comes in. He's 0 for 2. 0-2 uh, pitch. That'll do it for him. That's 2 away. And Sola comes in to pinch hit, batting uh, 253 this season. It's an 0-2 pitch on him. 
and he strikes out, and we need three runs at least in the bottom of the ninth. Can we do it? Short comes into pitch for them. His ERA is uh, just over three and a half. Vazquez will lead us off. He is two for three today. He's had a great day at the plate. It's not his fault we are where we are. And, uh, well, unfortunately, his great day ends there, and that is one away. And we need base runners. Spencer Jones comes in. Wouldn't have been my choice, but he's uh, one for three so far this season. A 1-1 pitch. Spencer Jones pops it up. That's the, uh, the two-way player, the, the left-arm reliever that can play first base as well. And we're down to our final out. It's Bo Bichette, who has had a horrible day at 0 for 4. And, well, he ends the game, and we have lost to the Cubs. So there we go. We just couldn't get across the line, could we? But the question I have at the, on the back of that is Brendan Rodgers. What do we do with him? He's been getting... He batted 286 last year, had a bit of an off year, um... This year, he's got even worse again. I mean, he's 27. He should, in but argument, be, be in his prime. Um, his estimated arbitration is going to be 14.5 million. I don't think he's not earning that, is he? He's not earning that. If we shop him around, who, what could we get for him? Let's see if there's anything here that takes our fancy. I mean, there's a couple of three-star relievers there. Um... I mean, we're just taking on more salary, aren't we? Brandon Williamson, a young pitcher on not too much. We'll come back and have a look at him. He's looking as though he's the best option, isn't he? He doesn't have great movement. He's a fly boy pitcher. That's not going to work in Colorado, is it? But of course, maybe the other side to that is, could we then look to trade him on again and maybe get something else in? He's never played in the majors. He's doing okay in AAA. He's got a war of 2.3, to be fair. Um, yeah, but there's not really much else there, is there? Not that we need, anyway. But uh, if you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Yeah, I'm just not quite sure what to do with Brendan Rodgers. And, of course, the other side of it is if you know, who comes in to replace him then. We need another midfield, uh, midfielder, infielder to come in. Um, I mean, the option would probably be either Kyle Datrez, um, who is not really excelling in AAA. The other option maybe is uh, Gutierrez, who we brought in. Um, again, he's not really excelling in AAA, so I don't know if we're necessarily upgrading by doing that. All we're doing is getting a salary off, which maybe that's what we need to do. Um, and, I mean, Ryder Jones... Does he come back in? I mean, he's, uh, he's 30 now. And again, he's not really excelling in AAA either. So I don't know if that is, if that's worth doing it in any case. Uh, if you have any thoughts on that, though, guys, let me know. And yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit downheartened here and a little bit lost as to exactly what we do. But that's it for today. If you've enjoyed that for some reason, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time. Do we want to go to the Dodgers? I mean, we haven't seen them yet this year. We'll go to LA, come way probably with our pants down. And um, yeah, I don't know what to do. Take care.